Hey guys, I'm back here again. Got another quick video here. This is a, a cautionary video to say the least. Uh, we had a guy here drop off his machine here, up, uh, I think it was on Saturday. And we had some time to uh, look at here today on Monday. And uh, the guy's main complaint was uh, my machine won't start. Uh, he, he claims he uh, changed the oil on it. And um, he said it still won't start and the machine was uh, puking oil everywhere. Uh, these machines, this new generation of machine, this is the uh, Sears Craftsman M110. Uh, these, these have the uh, newer generation over at Valve, uh, Briggs and Stratton engine on these machines here specifically for that. And they have the identification tag on the uh, carbs, um, uh, you know, block over here. You have, you have, a, you have this uh, block right here on the side of the engine, and this is the year um, 09P70. Uh, 20243F1. This is a, a 29 product or 2019 production machine. Uh, the customer claims he bought this uh, machine uh, back in April and um, it ran great for uh, I think about three or four months out there, no problem. And uh, he started having problems with it here after he changed the oil on here for the because uh, he kept on claiming the machine wouldn't start and. Um, uh, he wanted to check that, and he, he claimed he changed the oil on a machine, and uh, you know fired up, and the thing ran for a, you know a few seconds, and started dying out and blowing smoke everywhere for that, and he had a lot of um, uh, oil puking out it on the actual uh, exhaust over here for that, um, and so it's all this residue right here, and also this all kind of oil residue over here as well too on the front of the uh, you know by that carb over here as well too, because you have your breather system over there for that. And what we found over here was the uh, spark plug was totally oil fouled. Uh, the combustion chamber had uh, a boatload of oil in it as well too. Uh, the air filter on here as well too. Here's the air filter, no joke. Air filter is uh, totally saturated with uh, oil right here as well too. It's totally filled with oil. All entire the entire air filter is just totally saturated with oil. Oil, no joke. And the amount of oil we drained out of this machine is, uh, you will not believe it. Let me get over here and get a better shot here for you. And the light, you now we got one quart right here. We got one whole quart, Gold Wolf oil. There's one whole quart, and here's a second uh, half a quart. And this is about 16, let me see if we can get a better line here. Uh, it's about 16, right on the nose, almost 16. Let me get it balanced here better. So we got one quart. 32 ounces plus we've got another 16 ounces right here as well too so we got uh, basically one and a half quarts right there taken out of the machine so 32 plus a 16 you can do the math right there for that guy so that's what it is we drained out of the guy's uh, uh, crank case and uh, that's what we found over here the um, the guy severely overfilled the machine uh, I'll, I'll even show the dipstick on here I'll show you where it was actually on the dipstick Okay, check it out here for you. The guy's dipstick, no joke, it was all the way up to about here. The oil level was all the way up to about here, right here for the actual oil capacity. And it's supposed to be all the way down here. You have your uh, little cross hatches right here. You have your high and low capacity right there for that. Or I should say more, more precisely, uh, low oil level and high oil level here for that. You have these little cross hatches down the bottom here. Let me see if I can flip it over and show you on the other side. Nope. I was doing it one side here. Okay, let me wipe this thing off here for a couple seconds. Hold on, guys. Bear with me here for a couple seconds. And we'll wipe it off and show you here. Right down there is the cross hatches right there for that. You can see that right there. Get a better angle here for that so you can see it in the light. So there's your cross hatches right there. You have your little, um, uh, we want to call it, two little center punch holes right there for that. So they can highlight the uh, the lines and the cross hatching right on the actual bottom of the dipstick. This guy's machine, like I said before, it was filled all the way up to about here when it should be all the way down to here for max capacity, right where the uh, little dimple is right here for that guy. So you got about uh, one, two, you got about one, two, three, four, almost almost four inches higher. And what's supposed to be on a capacity right here for that. And because of that, the guy's um, engine was blowing oil out of the exhaust over here, uh, the breather on the other side of the engine over here. And uh, I cannot you know, stress more importantly, the engine's max capacity on these newer style you know, Briggs, you know, like second gen or third generation engines out here, 
It's only 15 ounces of oil in here. You cannot put any more in that because these things are extremely, extremely sensitive to oil over being overfilled either for that. So this is another cautionary video. Only put 15 ounces of max, you know, 15, that's, that's your max capacity. So I recommend only putting about, you know, 14 or 13 basically back in the engine. You will have uh, some residual engine oil still sitting in the crank case and also in the valves and stuff like that. So. Uh, my personal recommendation is put about 13 to 14 in your back in there and uh, check your dipstick again because you do not want to put any more than that in there because like I said before, they have a uh, very, they're very susceptible to having a overfill. When you overfill it, the engine gets churned up in like chocolate milk down inside the crank down there for that and you run the risk of, uh, you know, possibly damaging your engine, like, you know, blowing out the seals and stuff like that. Because if your oil gets whipped up enough in there, uh, you'll, you'll have it's, it's basically oil um, oil aeration. Your uh, oil develops uh, bubbles down inside it right there, and uh, the oil will not be able to um, you know properly lubricate the engine. Plus, it's uh, severely overfilled, and it's going to cause a constant drag on the engine out there. For that, you might uh, have an engine problem where the engine might seize up, or it just might not it, it just might stop stop running out there for that, guys. So. Uh, only you only put back in there a max capacity 15 uh, my personal recommendation only put about 13 to 14 capacity back in there just use just some uh, you know good oil out there uh, this is stuff we use over here the good old wolf's head oil the only reason I use it is because I bought my local um, Napa it's cheap it's good stuff it's uh, SAE um, uh, 10w30 on here and it's made uh, specifically for gasoline engines and it has a new rating, which is the, uh, where's it at here? The SN Plus rating on here for that. So it's API uh, 10W30 SAE SN Plus on the back right here. So this is their uh, Wolf's Head uh, Super Duty uh, motor oil here for that. So I, I basically buy like about, about 12 and a 24 pack right here for that. But this is relatively cheap in my Napa store all the time. So that's what I recommend. And if uh, anybody has any comments, questions, whatnot about this video, uh, feel free to uh, drop me a message here. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible about, you know, this one specific problem right here for that guy. So I'll see you. Have a nice day.